Hello, we are setting up our PayPal account in our WooCommerce site and now we are down to pay, uh, payment area, I mean the image URL. So I'm not sure how this is going to play out but I wanted to put our logo here. So that's is optional but if you click on that um, question mark it said the image should be 150 pixel by 50 pixel and that image display as your logo in the upper left corner of your PayPal checkout page it sounds interesting so how do we do that we already have our logo but it it is the one that I have is 300 by 300 and I like to create 150 by 50. I already have it, but I just like to show you how you can do that if you have a logo already and you wanted to use it. So you'll go to ipicky.com. It's pretty much I-P-I-C-C-Y.com. And you'll click on create a design. And I will click on enable flash and I'll click on allow and I'll click on create a design again and it is a free software a free website to use to create design to um, modify your design so we will use that and you just wait for that uh, that color to go away until you print out to new because sometimes when you click too early you are not going to go anywhere so now that it's pointing out to new we are going to click on new and here we are going to choose the width to be 150 and the height to be 50 and I like to click on transparent that way I can use it that logo anywhere without a white black background fixed to it so I'm going to click on create after I select transparent. So now I'm going to click on this image, this square image um, icon here. When you pull your finger on those things, it's going to tell you what they are. So add photo. This one is test and this one will have shapes. Those three are the three things you will use here a lot. So I'm just, I have a photo I'm going to use. If you are going to use test to create your logo, then you will click on test. It will have a test bar for you. You can now write in the, in the test box directly. You have to write in the left session bar here for something to show up in the test things. But I'm not going to do any test or I'm just going to click on delete. For anything, to, to delete anything, you have to click on delete not backspace so I'm going to click on the add photo icon here and then in the left section I'll click on upload image and my on my website I have on my computer I have my logo so I'm going to click on the one that is 300 by 300 PNG and I'll click on open now that I have it here my logo is bigger than the space that I'm going to fit it in. So what I will do is you will click on, you will first drag the image to the Canva and then you will use the corners, the four corners, angles. You don't use the middle or the side. You will change the shape of the logo or your image. You need to use the angle so that you keep the shape proportional. So I'm going to try to make it smaller by dragging it inside and I'm going to use just the both opposite corners. It is in, but because my Canva is too so small, it's hard for me to see it. At the bottom here, I will click on this plus sign so that I can make it big for myself to see. I want to make sure my logo is well within the space. And it's not going over it so gently I'm going to do that and I think it is well inside and in fact I like it so now that it is done I'm going to click on save here on top I'll click on save I think 
click outside of the image to look to make sure my edges are well within and when you wanted to change the image you have to click on the image and once you have those points out that's when you can really do something with the image now that we are done i'm going to click on save and here i'm just going to put um i'm going to name it Nin, uh, nina soap mini logo 150 by 50 pixel uh, and it is PNG. I want to make sure it is PNG because I use transparent and I will click on save to my computer and it is just going to save it for me. And let me see if I can move this to the side. If you are trying to save your image and it's now open this for you to save it, did you see these little things here? You can save your photo. If you click on it, it will download it for, to the side and you go to your download, you copy it there and you save it. So that's one way to do it when you can, you can now open your computer window for you to save your image. So now that we are done with our image, the thing is our image is now going to have a high resolution, 300 dpi, it's going to be 96. For that reason, I like to use another tool. I have it open here already, but I think I'm going to close it and do it again. And that's something you download to your computer and I have a website, I have a video how to download it. So it is a free software, paint.net. So I like to type it in the search bar at the bottom of my screen and then it'll just point it out, it'll point it out and I'll click on it. Paint.net. And that's a free software to download to your computer. You don't need internet once you have it on your computer to use it. So I like to use it to improve the resolution of my designs. On IPK, when you click on edit picture and you have a picture you took yourself, the resolution is 300 dpi but if you are creating an image the resolution is not going to be 200 dpi so i like to come to pen it and improve it so i'll click on file at the left corner and i'll click on open and it's going to open my things and i'll just scroll it to see if i can find that um things that i just saved and and that's this one here and I'll click on open and once I have it I'll go to the top again and I'll click on image here and I'll click on resize and under resize you can see that we use 150 by 50 and the resolution is 96 we want to improve the resolution to 300 so I'll turn it to 300. And what I like to do when I come here, I like to make sure maintain aspect ratio is selected. And that's if you are trying to change the width and the height here for anything that you don't want to deform the image. You want it to make sure your maintain aspect ratio is selected. And I have 301 and I don't want 301, I want 300. And we'll press OK. The only and when maintain aspect ratio is selected, if I'm trying to change the uh, the width, automatically it will change the height for me. Or if I change the height, it's going to change the width. But if I I don't want that, I want to change both to something that are not related. Don't know how to explain it, but if I want to change both to a specific number, then I have to make sure I remove that selection, and that's the only way I can change this and I can change that. Otherwise, when I change this, it's going to change this automatically for me to maintain the aspect ratio. So if I don't want to maintain the aspect ratio, then I have to remove that selection, click on it to remove it, and then I'll do that. But I'm just here to change the resolution, not the height or the width. So I want to make sure my 
Methane aspiration is selected and I'll do resolution 300 and I'll press OK. And once it's done, I'll go back to file. Okay, so what did we do? I'll go back to file. I have a rear um, mouse for some reason. I try to f take my computer to fix and just make the mouse so sensitive to touch. So I'll go back to file and I'll click on save. I just want to change. Oh, I did we just click on save as? I don't want to save as. Can this mouse behave? File and save. I just want to save to replace to just update what I have there already. Why I'm not seeing okay let me make sure because I got out of it the mouse is not behaving maybe I should make the screen wide enough that's unbelievable okay so I'll go back to image check check the resize okay 300 I'll press OK want to make sure it is the one I did now we'll go back to file let's see save and then we'll press OK and that's pretty much it I like to go back to file and close it oh come on Unbelievable. Close. Okay, because because of this blank space is asking me if you want to save something. I don't want to save anything here. So pretty much we have close. Okay. Because we save it already, it does not ask me if I want to save it. So I want just to lower that lower this so now we have our image right so that's how i got this one here so now what you will do is you'll go back to your we want to make sure we save our changes here So that we don't lose what we put in it so far and you'll go to the left section of your dashboard and click on media and under media you can click add new but you know what let's just click on media here and before I click on add new and I add it Okay, so you'll click on add new here. And when you click on add new, you click select file. And we look for that um, icon we just work on and improve the resolution and we'll click on open. And we just okay I think it did it for us okay so which one we just bring in that'll be this one so I uh, to make sure I'm correct here I can just scroll down because I put the data at the end of it I think that's this one so what I like to do is okay I'm going to copy the a part of the tarot and I'm just going to put it here Nassau mini logo 
okay so and then do you see here on the left section here what is important for you is the url so you will select this url sometimes it's not easy to select here and i'm just going to click on copy don't know if it's copy for us or what we'll see let me see if i have my map here i don't have my map here i like to go back to here we create a map for our website so that things that we are putting there we can track it so i'm going to put the url here okay it copied for us and the title will go here so And that's the tarot. I like to copy the tarot. And I will have the tarot here. Let's save that quickly and lower it. So since we are still here, let's copy our you. Oh, come on. Okay, so when it's doing that, just copy from the end. If you go all the way to the end, it's easier to copy. Or well, maybe not. Okay. Control C. And we just get out of this by just clicking on that X at the corner, at the right corner. And we go back to our WooCommerce and setting. Payments, manage PayPal, and we scroll all the way down. To this image URL here, I'm just going to take this out of here and I'll put a new one there. And then when you are done, just make sure you save the changes. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Afiari Ojune Lieberman, creator of Lieberman Consulting LLC YouTube channel and owners of Nina Soap, our blog, ninasoap.com and our natural product store, ninasoap.com and our custom apparel store, liberlabel.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. Thank you so much. You all that subscribe to our channel and thank you so much for your comments. The next session will be how to retrieve our API credential from PayPal.